Hello there and welcome to BeNetTV.com. I'm Michelle Sklar. And I'm Nicole Scott. And we have been down here at the iHollywood Forum Mobile Entertainment Summit in Los Angeles, California. We're actually speaking to you from uh, Hollywood Boulevard at the Mobile Entertainment Summit. We had the opportunity to hear from some of Hollywood industry leaders and uh, mobile content and where new media is going, where gaming is going, um, where TV over the, uh, over the mobile phone is going. And Nicole and I had an opportunity to uh, speak to a number of leaders in the industry to uh, watch a number of keynote sessions. So we're going to give you some highlights here. You'll be able to see the, in, the extended version of the interviews as well as the keynote addresses at www.bnettv.com. You can also go to iHollywoodForum.com's website. And of course, you're going to be able to see our, uh, our shows on uh, socialtv.com uh, with MediaZone. So, Nicole, give us some insights as to uh, how, what, uh, what really impacted you from the Mobile Entertainment Summit. Well, obviously, the keynotes provided a lot of really good insight into where they feel the industry in the mobile entertainment is, is going. There was uh, John Smeltzer from Fox Entertainment, and he provided a lot of really good points on, uh, from a, a network's point of view, where Fox will fit in with the mobile industry. There was also Tammy Robinson from Verizon, who is in charge of gaming and content, so she had uh, very interesting things to say about their new three-screen platform, which they just announced last week. There was also David Akamoto from AT&T and Singular, who provided really good insights into Java and gaming. So overall, we, we got a really well-rounded idea Absolutely. Of, of where the Mobile Entertainment Summit uh, We also had a chance to hear from Dan Novak, and we had a chance to interview Dan Novak as well from uh, Media Flow USA. Mm -hmm. And I would have to say that the word on the street as far as the Mobile Entertainment Summit is concerned is that people were really blown away at what Media Flow is yes. doing with regards to delivery of content. Because, of course, one of the big issues that, that's being debated with the, uh, uh, within the industry is how are people going to uh, receive the, the, the same type of information they would watch mm -hmm. on a large screen television onto a small screen cell phone. And I know even when we were um, hearing from John Smelzer mm -hmm. um, from um, uh, Fox. Fox Interactive Media, same type of thing. Cable companies looking at how to deliver new media. Um, also had a chance to talk to uh, uh, Discovery, uh, Discovery Channel representative uh, Douglas Craig and he was talking about that they are creating content um, that is specifically for mobile phones whether it's three to four minute um, snacking bits if you will mm -hmm. um, or they're repackaging and repurposing some of their larger content and making it compelling for the mobile phone so that the end user experience is something that um, you know that continues to grow. That was one of the things that really did come out of the summit was uh, a lot of the larger networks are trying to retrofit their existing content for you know, a, a tiny screen, and it's just not happening. Everyone's realizing that content producers for mobile aren't there. They're not. They're they're not a, a force to be reckoned with. And there's really nobody out there producing the kinds of quality mobile content that that they're that they're looking for. So that was one area that there's definitely room for growth. I had a chance to talk to uh, Brad Dewey from Napster, and mobile music was another one of those really big things. Like. Uh, the iPhone was uh, his big kryptonite, and he talked about how uh, Napster's new uh, products with their, I can't remember the price point, but you know, unlimited downloads onto three, onto three uh, electronic devices. And he had some very interesting comments on digital rights management, being that he was one of the people, the not notorious bad boy from the 90s, who forced DRM to be a, a real global issue. So Absolutely. that was very interesting. Absolutely. I had an opportunity to speak with Martin Noyens, who is the founder of uh, the International Mobile Gaming Awards. And so interesting to learn about some of the new games that are out there that are incorporating the social networking aspect, interactive games where where, you know, on your mobile phone, you could be in a, a large space, a park, that type of thing, and there's five of you interacting with a game, or or games that um, just really kind of test your, not just your patience, of course, but your but your skill level, and the opportunities that he has to work with a lot of up-and-coming uh, game developers, and, and these are individuals that are coming from all over the place. He did mention, of course, that Korea, um, being one of the main contributors to uh, mm -hmm. to the, the development of uh, the new mo mobile games and that type of thing, and uh, the awards for, the mobile gaming awards, of course, which are happening in February, and the opportunities that these game developers get to then help further grow their business. So we certainly had an opportunity to talk to uh, some really, really, really 
really interesting individuals. Yeah. Tammy Robinson had some from uh, Verizon had some good insight into the games that she looks to put on deck. When when she's looking at some of the games, one of her comments is, "You know what? You have to be able to play the games." while you're in a meeting and not have it look like you're actually gaming. <laughs> so that was one of the challenges that she said that she's finding. Some of the games have too many buttons and you're trying to go all over the screen and it just looks like you're gaming in a meeting. So it has to be, you know, simpler controls. So she, she has some very funny things to say about that. Absolutely. We also have sessions that covered um, the international scope of, uh, of the, mobile, uh, the mobile space as well and how different companies and different countries are interacting with each other to further create compelling content for mobile devices. Well, that just gives you a snapshot of some of the things that we had an opportunity to learn and see. And once again, if you log on to www.bnettv.com, as well as iHollywoodForum.com and SocialTV.com, you'll have an opportunity to view the interviews and get a chance to see some of the, uh, the keynote speakers. So thanks for joining us today. I'm Michelle Sklar. And I'm Nicole Scott. For BNETTV.com.